Hi everyone, just recording a quick video for you to take a look at the install. So you just download the package from the G drive, import it the usual way, and that will import the plugin and its dependencies. In this case, uh, just the plugin and TM Pro, essentially. And we include TM Pro with it because otherwise the editor GUI can go all over the place. Okay, so we dive into it. Once it's imported and done everything, everything is nested. The first step we always recommend is to navigate to the plugins folder and go to MetaMask. These folders here are for static and dynamic libraries and hence why they are where they are. So we've got the documentation and always recommend reading that first. That's your first step. And next step, you can go to MetaMask and setup in the setup window there. If you want to get into the documentation and all that stuff, we've got that here. We've got a setup window here. You can configure all the SDK credentials in here. You can apply the settings and do whatever you need to do, which is quite nice and very handy. So applying the settings, you can see it's configured all good. So if we go into the sample scenes, after I've read the documentation, if you'd like to view the license, you can view it here, the consensus license. If you want the third party licenses, those are over here along with the appendix. We also include all the individual license files, which are either Myth or Apache 2 and licenses. Then we go to the samples folder and this is where you can get uh, a view of everything. This is just a typical folder setup. So you go to scenes and then MetaMask and we will import uh, we might be imported, uh, we might be prompted to import TMP essentials and the examples and extras, and we can do so, and that's not a problem. But only if you need to, and if you want to. Okay, the next step, essentially, all you have to do, you might get some stuff in your console there. If I hit play here, what we'll see is uh, we get the pop ups. Now, please note that the text not appearing on first repaint is just, uh, you need text mesh pro initializing okay there it's uh, appeared so we can see we've got a nice sample scene here and please note for you to do this sample you need to download the metamask app which you can do from the google play store or the ios store depending on you know which you're using okay so all you need to do is create an account it doesn't cost anything and you're good to go so all you do then is hit connect once you've hit connect you're going to open the app sign in and then on the top right, you'll see a little QR code button. You scan that, and then you'll see you are prompted to connect. And once you've connected, you'll see all the little modals popping up here. And then we can sign and uh, and send transactions to be signed, which are signed by the app, and the response is returned. Or I can send transactions to be signed also on the app. This one I'll reject, and then you can see everything works. So you can have a play, run through everything like that. I will note that I would just check in the README as well. There are a couple current limitations with the library that are being worked out, essentially. There are known issues uh, and we're just tracking them. We expect them to be resolved in the next few days, but we just like to make you all aware of them. But you can build platforms and build for all the platforms. It's mainly the runtime stuff and some ILL2TP compilation uh, issues. But other than that, we are all good to go. So that should give you uh, get you off to the races. This is just a bit of a quick start. So let us know if you have any questions, any concerns or comments, and we'll be more than happy to help you with them. All right, let us know how you get on. Talk to you soon.